Washington in peace. The Navy celebrates Navy Day one year after World War No. 2. Today, a fleet smaller in size but bigger in scope plans for the future, and that means manpower. The Navy today looks to its officers of the future, and investment in brains will pay dividends in an unresolved future of rockets and jet propulsion and atomic power. Rochester University is but one of 52 colleges selected by the Navy for the training of future officers. Unlike Annapolis, which will continue to turn out ensigns, these college courses will be open to any young Americans who pass the required examinations. It's a five-year plan to keep America strong and free. They call this the bat, but it's not blind. Just one of the many hush-hush wartime devices now revealed to the public for Navy Day, the bat is a radar-controlled glider bomb that wrecked havoc with Jap shipping in the last months of the war. Trained technicians are being turned out in the Navy's vast program of robot warfare. The bat glides down swiftly and unerringly with its deadly cargo of destruction. Its extreme range is about 12 miles at 10,000 foot altitude. Bombers and fighters both can be armed with the amazing weapon that seeks out its target and destroys it. Bullseye for the bat. Among the Navy's top secret wartime weapons was the Sono Boy, which is ready for future development. Thrown from a patrol plane, the Sono Boy is parachuted to the water. Chief use of this self-sending radio detector is in trapping enemy submarines. When the U-boat nears the buoy, the vibrations of the propellers are picked up by the submerged detector and relayed to the floating antenna above. From here, the radio waves are transmitted to the sharp ears of the crew in the plane. Plotting the location of the enemy sub, a message is sent to the nearest destroyer escort, which takes over. The tattered ensign is evidence that the Navy is again bucking heavy seas. Carrier decks are trimmed and planes lashed down. And juggling your coffee and biscuits on a day like this is rugged. Yes, it can be rugged, but Navy ships and Navy men are built to take it on land, sea, or in the air. It's a mighty Navy and a proud Navy. And from the African beaches to Tokyo, it's one we can all point to with pride.